Hello, through the makeup here, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. We are going to do more side quests. I'm probably not going to do every side quest there is, but I am going to do some. Ah, okay. Right. Um, there is one of the things that uh, we can do as a side quest. That is Emerald Weapon. It's one of the harder uh, optional bosses. <laughs> so, <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Um, uh, yo, come back. Yo. Right. Let's see what happens. Oh, I've got 20 minutes to defeat it. Okay. Um. Um. How badly that screwed me up would be a good, uh, a good hint of how powerful this thing is. Yeah. Okay. I am not powerful enough to defeat that thing yet. Never mind. We'll deal with it later. In the meantime, I am gonna deal with what I ought to be dealing with. If I'm powerful enough for this. Which I might not be. Again, just which I might not be, but we'll see. I've I've never actually made it through this area, but I have looked at what levels uh, you're supposed to be in order to be able to uh, win at this. And um, it seems like you can win at the levels I'm at. Basically, there are some very, very powerful enemies here. There are some useful items you can get. There are just very powerful enemies. I'm not sure what Heaven with Cloud does, actually. Oh, yes! In regard to Final Limit Breakers, it turns out that um, you can only uh, teach them to your characters uh, once you they've learnt all of the other um, limit breakers. Because I don't think any of my characters have. Ah, Heaven's Cloud looks like it's a weapon for Cloud. Not quite as good as the one we've got, though, so... I'd be disappointed if we're not attacked by anything at all. I'd be quite grateful for it, but I'll also be disappointed. Aha! There we go! Yeah, that thing looks like it could hurt me quite a bit. I'm definitely going to need big guard. Well, I defeated one of them, and it wasn't quite as hard as I was expecting. 
That doesn't mean if there's a boss here, I'll be able to defeat it easily, but... Mm, if there's a boss here, technically it will be an optional boss. Now oh, also I've missed a crate up there. Okay, as long as there isn't a really tough boss at the end of this, I think I'm going to be fine. Well, I have to admit, this place is way, way easier so far than I expected it to be. I will be looking at these items later, I promise.
really time to use that, but too late. Realize this door was here. Didn't really notice it at first. Okay, well, since this is a good place to level up, I put Barrett on here because he's only level 50. Ew, that thing does not look like it's going to be kind to Barrett though. Probably hidden. I have to say, there's some really nasty looking um, enemies here, aren't there? You know, Web 13 isn't that helpful to, to train, I, to level up. I don't know if it's because enemies tend to go for whoever's in the middle. What exactly, but uh, he does tend to get killed a lot. But then again, Barak's not being killed as often as I expect him to, so. Oh, that sounds creepy and touchy. Well, I think actually we might be done here. Um, I'm not really sure what to do now. Hmm, I don't know what this is. Oh, 
Okay, cool. This is a final limit breaker there. Um, we can't uh, actually fight Emerald Weapon um, until we Ruby Weapon, sorry, until we've defeated Emerald Weapon, which I'm clearly not ready for now. I'm not really sure what to do here. You know what? That's enough side quests. Let's just uh, head through the North Cave now. Well, um, I've arrived at North Crater, and um, this seems like the best time to end the episode. Um, I will see you next time.